Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Now in this video we're going to be going over conditional statements. In the previous two videos we went over variables, string interpolation, for loops and arrays. So this is going to be the video on conditional statements, that is if and switch case statements. So let's jump right in, we're just going to create a variable and I'm just going to call this fruit. And we're going to call this one here apple. And the next type of variable we're going to say var my fruit and I'm gonna have a banana. Now to do some sort of simple conditional statement we can simply just say if fruit equals banana sorry not banana my fruit. Now notice that I've used two equal signs this is a typical C style of uh, conditional statement. Now if that is true I want to say print ln that's just a, a C function that's gonna write some text out to our console I'm going to say this is true. Else, we put a bracket. And I'm going to say print ln. And then I'm also going to put a string in there saying this is false. And what you should see in our console window, because fruit does not equal my fruit, apples are not bananas, we see this is false. However, if I was, if I did have an apple, so my fruit changes now to apple you'll see that this is this says true now that is the simplest form of if statement that you can do the next kind of if statement you could add to that is called an else if so if we get rid of our else statement we can add something like else if and then we can do another query we can say else if fruit equals oranges if that is true it will then perform this function down here else if it does not meet the first criteria and the second criteria, it will perform the third function, which is the final condition. And we're just going to add our print lns back in here. I want to add a string inside of that, and it's going to say no condition met. If it was an orange, we're going to say special condition met. And again, if fruit equals my fruit, it will get a this is true. So if I change my fruit back to banana, what you should see is no conditions were met. However, if fruit was an orange, you'll see that the, uh, sorry, orange, uh, sorry guys, I put oranges, it's gotta be orange. You'll see that the special condition was met. So basically this is how you perform a simple uh, conditional statement of the if type. The next type of statement we can do is a switch case statement. So basically, what this means is we're going to go which basically say switch and I'm going to say fruit and inside of that I'm going to add the two brackets case apples Oops. case apples what's wrong with that case bananas oops I think I need to have a semicolon a colon there Ah, it needs to have an executable statement. Okay, that's fine. We'll just say print ln, and inside of that we'll say the fruit was an apple. We'll do the same thing for bananas. IntelliSense is trying to be smart there. We'll just add another line to the console, and we'll just say the fruit was a banana. And what we should see if this compiles correctly is an error consider out and we need a default clause there we go default so the default clause is basically suggesting that if oh sorry code uh, the IDE is freaking out a little bit there the default clause is basically if we don't meet any of the criteria above so I'm just going to say print ln and I'm going to say no fruits matched so what you should see is our fruit currently is set to orange, it's not an apple, it's not a banana, so we get no fruits matched. If I change fruit to be apple, what you'll see is, I've put apples, sorry, apples, you'll see the fruit was an apple. And if I change the fruit to be bananas, you'll see the fruit was a banana. Now something else we can do here, and I'm just going to do this to show you guys uh, how how we can uh, create a very simple application that 
uh, includes the string interpolation that we had from the very first video because we're dealing with these uh, these variables. So I'm going to change the wording of this. The fruit was sum, and instead of putting the word apple here, I'm just going to put our forward slash and then our parentheses, and then I'm going to say fruit. I'm going to do the same thing for bananas. I'm going to say a bunch of, and then I'm going to do the forward slash and then parentheses and then the word fruit. What this will do is you'll see in our console the fruit was a bunch of bananas. Now what's actually happened here is the value fruit which is now set to bananas has come through the switch case statement it's matched the case here which is bananas and it's wrote to the console the fruit was a bunch of and then it's gone back to get the variable that we set at the front at the very top of the application fruit bananas and replaced this section here with the value that has come back, the return value from this uh, statement. So what you'll see in the console window is the fruit was a bunch of bananas. However, if I set the fruit to apples, when the application uh, re-executes itself, you'll see the fruit was some apples. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Conditional Statements. Uh, please like the video, please share the video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, the next video will be going over basic functions. Uh, that will include return types, parameters, and multiple return types because this is a an advantage of the Swift language is that it does support multiple returns from a single function, which is quite incredible in my opinion. Um, a great feature that's going to serve many uses in the future to come. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, bye.